everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. How are you? It is me, Daddy May. It is Saturday, June 1st. Happy June. I can't believe it. Um, so I am here just to do some more sharing of my journal from my first hospital stay. Mental hospital stay, I should say. From way back in 2013. Um, I just decided to share these journal entries um, because I, um, it's just good to uh, go back in those days and see where I was, see how far I've come, and um, how much life has changed in the past year. Um, for those that don't know, I was divorced last year. So this past year, I've been going solo, and it has been one of the worst years. Um, and I have managed, excuse me, I have managed to stay hospital free for, what is that? I'm sorry, for two years now. So, um, and for those that don't know, I stayed or I had several inpatient hospital stays from 2013 to my very last one in 2016. So like half a dozen different times. Five of them were at a place called Forest View. And then my very last one was Pine Rest. And that was um, the one that really helped me out the best. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> this is from, um, 12, 17 of 2013. It was a Tuesday. Um, I don't know, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm assuming it was towards the end of the day. I'm not sure. Um, so all I said was blood pressure, temperature, and blood drawn. Breakfast soon. Okay, so it must have been in the morning. I slept the best I could on these beds. The pillows aren't great comfort either. I'm not allowed to... Okay, sorry. I'm not allowed to have and use my own sanitary pads that my husband bought. So I have to use theirs, and that sucks. I should be able to see my husband and daughter today. I look forward to that. I also pray that I could be released to go home today. Yeah, I didn't want to be there, obviously. Breakfast today was a fried egg, two strips bacon, one piece toast. So obviously at that point, I must have taken break to go eat breakfast and then came back later. Milk and apple juice. I also had a few bites of the oatmeal. Lunch today was two to tuna noodle casserole topped with cheese. Oh, geez, Oakley, Oakley's sitting here with me, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, let's see, topped with cheese, a few strawberries, and I also tried a few bites of the vegetables, but they were way too bland. And dessert, it was like a coconut, chocolate chip, pecan, scotchy type bar. There was too much pepper on the casserole for my tastes, but I ate it because my body requires nutrition. <clears throat> Sorry. Dinner was a burrito, mixed vegetables with beans, and then fruit, which was pears, and dessert was an ice cream sandwich. I ate a little bit of everything. I couldn't eat it all because I ate all of the tuna casserole at lunch and I wasn't overly hungry. The best part of today was getting to see my husband and kids. I cried and hugged them tight. I just miss them so much. Being away from them is very hard for me. Side note, I attended all of the groups and classes today that I could. I enjoyed the triangle because it enlightened me a bit. 
I also enjoyed the healthy living topic of hope. My goal of wanting to go home hasn't changed. I feel I would be better there. So I got a couple of comments on yesterday's video already that I shared of my um, first day's journal. And um, did I think I needed to be there or required the hospitalization? And um, because my journal entry sounded so like level-headed and everything and no, looking back, no, I really don't. I think I could have gotten more help at home and could have saw a psychiatrist um, and a, and a um, counselor or whatever. Could have gotten on the medication that I needed. Um, you know, could have gotten more help at home maybe. Um, and yeah, I was... I was forced to go into the hospital, I guess. I was petitioned. Um, so it's, you know, looking back at it, it's, it's hard. It is hard because, I don't know, it's just hard to realize that I was in a toxic relationship and I didn't see it but I see it now and I'm glad I'm out of it um, and it's you know it's it's hard to admit it and um, but I'm glad that I'm doing better. I'm doing the best I can. Some days are tough. You know, being alone and feeling lonely at times. Even though I have Oakley. But obviously, um, a dog is a dog. And she can't... You know, I mean, sometimes there's just those feelings that you have. Um, that a dog just obviously cannot fulfill. So, anyway, all that aside, I know God has a plan. I am a believer, and I know not everybody is, and that's fine. Um, but God has a plan for me. I know that. And um, I'm feeling better today than I was the other night when I was so lonely and crying and everything um i did talk more to my friend and we are obviously going to stay good friends and be good friends and just see where things go um we're we're going to be open minded about a relationship um and yes he does travel a lot and that's fine and sometimes that works for people um, there are distance relationships that work. Um, there are people that have loved ones in the military or other occupations that require them to be gone. Um, you know, and that works for some. And who knows? We don't know. So, um, but we do know that we care for each other. Um, so we're just going to take it day by day and we're going to be good friends, best friends for now. And, um, and that just makes me happy. So, um, anyway, um, also, uh, per perspective, other employment, um, with a contractor, or contract employment but I'll know more about that next week so anyway that's it for now um, I'll let you guys go and I'll continue to share more of these as days go on um, anyway 
<laughs> um, I shared, I did a bathing suit session try on today and I shared those on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, so if you follow me on any of those, you'll see them. Um, or maybe not my Twitter. Anyway, I don't know. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for all your support and love. I really appreciate it. Peace, love, and smiles. Bye. Oh, happy Pride Month. Bye.